right, I'm here with Coach John. We've got a crazy night going on tonight. You guys got all kinds of uh, madness yeah. in the background there. <laughs> getting ready for pep rally, man. Getting ready for yeah, it. That's good. <laughs> Tell you what, man, you're like one of the busiest people in the gym. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they they keep me busy. They yeah. keep me working around. <laughs> you guys, I see you doing lessons. I see you coaching all these different teams and stuff like that. I mean, this must be a pretty big passion for you. Oh, man, it is. It really is. I'm kind of surprised how I got into it. Uh, I actually started doing this because uh, I wanted to get better at football, hand-eye coordination. And believe it or not, my owner slash boss now yeah. is the one who taught me how to do a standing back tuck and got me to go to college to do cheerleading and ended up being pretty good at it and they asked me to coach and kids like me and they keep paying me to do it so I'm here. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Give me a little about your cheer background. Where you uh, cheer mean, background, get, um, get started? I did a year of All-Stars with Caleb and them back at, it was called Central Arkansas Cheer. Um, had a great experience there. Went to UCA, cheered three, th three years there. I was point stunt at NCAA Nationals. Uh, we got two second place and third place as well as there. Uh, very great experience. Learned a lot uh, just with people. Uh, cheer terms, the industry and all that, it was just a great experience and now uh, I'm kind of moving on, I want to teach it to the kids what I learned and the passion I got for it and hopefully I can hand it down to them and they can have a bright future with it as I did. Awesome. Now we're talking uh, future, or actually present and future, um, obviously it's a huge, pa huge passion of you, uh, for you, Yeah. but coaching is a huge passion for it. What, uh, what's so great about being a cheer coach? Man, the kids, uh, every day they remind you of the innocence of the, uh, of the world. There's so much bad stuff going on out there, you get to come in here you ask five-year-old what's wrong with you today and they're mad because they didn't get their sippy cup and it just reminds you of how easy life can be and just seeing them smile and live here and just the, the joy on their face when they get a new skill when you're either happy or mad just those emotions run through it it's just a great experience uh -huh. it sounds like something you're gonna continue with oh yeah if, uh, if they let me keep staying I, I'm, I don't plan on going anywhere I want to see my youngest ones graduate so and hopefully you know building the industry you never know what could happen one day could own it could be staying here you never know so awesome okay Okay, one last thing, bragging, you, bragging the kids here at CCU. Oh man, the kids, whew, they work hard as you see. This is just, yeah. oh, this yeah. is open gym getting ready for a pep rally and they're just, yeah. they're decked out. These kids love it. I mean, they live in, day out. Uh, you seen our level five kids last night, you had Meganville on there. That kid has lived in the gym since she was 10. Uh, you seen the little ones earlier. I mean, you got little ones over here right now uh, just jumping around. They just love being around here, around with the coaches and other kids and it's just a fun place to be. The kids are amazing. They, if it weren't for them, you wouldn't have us. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, man, uh, you're kind of excited to be here, it seems. Oh, man, really excited to be here, man. Really excited. <laughs> Coach, we appreciate your time. Thanks, no problem. Buddy. Thank you.